What if Godzilla x Kong, the new empire, was a kind of monster versus infinity war? This refers to the presence of a colossal threat from a super powerful villain who seeks to establish his own world order. In response, Godzilla and Kong will become defenders of Earth, like the Avengers who united to fight Thanos. As the producers promise, massive action scenes await us, similar to the final battle in Endgame. The huge army of the main antagonist will clash with all the titans and other monsters. This moment promises to be incredibly epic and ambitious especially given the expected storyline associated with the exploration of the ancient Titan War that lasted for a thousand years. Millennia ago, across the vast expanses of Hollow Earth, the kin of Kong and Godzilla engaged in a brutal war where they annihilated each other without mercy or rational understanding. As a result of this deadly conflict, both breeds of alpha predators were nearly destroyed. Those of Kong who survived found refuge on Skull Island. After many years of conflict, they finally found peace and a new home. However, their respite was brief. The era of tranquility lasted only a few centuries before they faced a new threat in the form of skull crawlers. Virtually all except for Kong were destroyed in this confrontation, and his parents sacrificed their lives to give their son a chance at a future. Kong became the last surviving member of his kind, or so it seemed. On the horizon, a new and menacing threat emerged in the shape of a colossal orangutan-like ape named Scar King. This fresh antagonist presents a true challenge for both Kong and Godzilla in the upcoming MonsterVerse crossover, ushering in a new empire in the world of Titans. Movie will delve deeper into Kong's origins, unveiling numerous concealed facets of his past. Skull Island will reveal how he yearns to learn about his family and the backstory of his species. He meticulously collects every minuscule detail and piece of information about his heritage. Kong longs to reunite with his family, and upon hearing Gia's words regarding the possibility of finding kin in the hollow earth, he decides to risk everything and embark on a perilous adventure. As he immerses himself into uncharted territory, he stumbles upon an ancient chamber that has not been entered in eons. This chamber re-establishes his connection with his forebears, and even though he doesn't find living kin there, he refuses to lose hope for a reunion. However, when he eventually encounters his kin, he realizes that they are not as amicable as he had hoped. In the teaser, we were shown how Scar King sits on a throne surrounded by a massive pile of bones from representatives representatives of the two dominant factions. It appears he hunted not only Godzilla's but also his own kin. Clearly, Scar King, seasoned by experience, is a formidable hunter. He knows a great deal about his prey, their habits, strengths, and weaknesses. Based on this information, he can select the most effective means and suitable weapons to crush his quarry. His orangutan-like body type helps keep his opponents at a distance. His long arms can strike his adversaries before they can react. His slender but muscular shape allows for agile maneuvering, considering his hunter skills. He possesses a sharp intellect. One might conclude that this fellow could devise the most efficient weapons against Kong and Godzilla, be it traps or close and long-range combat tools. By the way, there's a plot leak detail that the Scar's primary weapon is a whip made from the spine of a giant snake. And if a primary weapon exists, there must be a whole arsenal of tools for all occasions. Scar King has dozens, perhaps even hundreds of defeated kaijus to his name. He knows the weak points of each one, so it's safe to say he shouldn't be underestimated. He knows precisely where to strike swiftly to decrease the odds of his adversary, not just for victory, but for his own survival. His blue glowy eyes suggest that he's an extraordinary ape charged with the pure energy of Hollow Earth. It's possible he harnesses this energy to enhance specific parts of his body. Remember how Godzilla's spines were supercharged with this type of energy? What might this mean for a Titan who may be even more attuned to this energy than others? So Scar King boasts colossal combat experience, hunter instincts, and the development of the most effective means to confront all Titans. It makes him a genuinely formidable villain to the MonsterVerse franchise. However, the question arises about what intrigues will remain if the main antagonist was revealed already in the first teaser. Often the industry tries to maintain suspense by hinting at characters and plot gradually, but sometimes the secret is revealed too quickly. Indeed, it's essential not to take the teaser literally. Scar King, shown in it which bears a resemblance to the present Kong and is surrounded by the bones of other kaijus, may not necessarily be the main antagonist in the upcoming movie. It's likely a prologue depicting the ancient Titan War that led to the demise of Kong and Godzilla's ancestors. The crucial factor here is understanding the cause of this conflict, which will likely be revealed in the sequel. The cause could indeed be multifaceted, ranging from territorial disputes to a struggle for alpha status or other factors. In summary, it might be best not to attach too much significance to the Titan on the throne in the teaser, as it's merely one of the kaiju from the past war. Also remember that Godzilla's behavior has been to appear when he senses a threat capable of altering the balance of nature. This instinct was probably 
probably present in his ancestors, so feeling threatened by the Kongs, they might have engaged in conflict. In essence, the simplest explanation is a classic alpha showdown. It's evident that Warner Bros. won't reveal the primary antagonist so openly in the very first teaser. Instead, they will introduce several new titans who are likely to be henchmen of the main villain, although we don't know who that will be. I recall the debut trailer for Godzilla vs. Kong, where Mechagodzilla wasn't shown at all. Instead, we briefly saw something in the dust clouds, and the whole trailer focused on the confrontation between Kong and Godzilla. This time, the emphasis will be on the ancient Titan War and some unresolved issues from the previous film. Kong is likely to be the main character, as Hollow Earth will take up a significant portion of the runtime. We've discussed this in my previous video. One question that interests me personally is whether the Apex organization will receive further development. It has made quite an impact, and I can't rule out its presence in the story, although I don't see its place in the main plot for now. However, a post credit scene could be dedicated to it, but we'll have to wait for more information as it becomes available. The new empire threatens Kong and Godzilla by establishing a different dominion not only in the world of monsters, but also on Earth as a whole. The scale of this threat can be immense considering that various titans might be involved in the battle against Earth's main protectors. If we set aside speculations, the plot of the new empire could be relatively straightforward. Kong awakens Scar King. They engage in a battle. Kong loses and will be imprisoned. Scar, having rallied its followers, heads to the surface to conquer the Earth. However, it's possible that the catalyst for awakening is Godzilla, as his atomic breath into the hollow Earth may have unintended consequences. There's also a chance that Monarch has established a new base of operations in this new location where researchers study the terrain and its peculiarities. Given Kong's connection with Gia, a young girl from Kong's tribe who may understand the language of Kong's ancient ancestors, she might play a crucial role in unearthing more details about the Titan War, its origins, and more. Moreover, there's a theory that Godzilla's ancestors were the real guardians of the Hollow Earth's energy. This radiation may be the source of monsters' powers, including Godzilla's atomic breath. In this context, Scar King might be driven by the desire to control this energy, while Kong's direct relatives might oppose his views. This could lead to conflict, with someone paying the ultimate price and others being banished to a distant island. As for the crossover implications, it's vital to remember that the X in the film's title usually signifies collaboration. In this case, it signifies that Kong and Godzilla are united by a common goal rather than friendship or enmity. All in all, these are elaborate speculations, and the truth might be far less convoluted. The official release date of Godzilla x Kong The New Empire is April 12th, 2024. There's not long to wait. The filming has officially concluded, and even the first test screenings have taken place, leaving all the viewers delighted. Many have compared The New Empire to Infinity War, praising it for its epic scenes, unlike anything we've seen in the MonsterVerse before. Even though audiences were shown an unfinished movie with incomplete visual effects, many still claim it to be one of the best movies about monsters ever. Some of those who have watched have already shared the full main plot of The New Empire, and I've already dropped a separate video breakdowning it. Watch now and subscribe!